Hi, my name is Levi and I'm a longtime musician. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about speakers and speaker cabinets. So in a guitar signal chain, from the guitar to the pedals, to the amp, to the speaker output, there are many things that can affect the overall sound. And believe it or not, the speakers can make a huge impact on the tone of your guitar. Now for the last year and a half, I've been using this Vox Cab and it has been really good to me. I bought it because it was cheap and it was portable. And after experimenting with a lot of different tones from the clean to the mid gain to the high gain side, I kind of started to feel like this wasn't quite giving me the sound that I was going for when I was trying to play heavier music. I've heard a lot of producers and musicians say that a big part of the heavy guitar sound is the Celestion Vintage 30 speaker. So like your typical guitarist, I got a little bit of that gear acquisition syndrome and I was like, okay, I need a Celestion Vintage 30 to get me that sound that I want. And somehow I was lucky enough to find an empty orange 112 cab that was for sale for really cheap as well. So I went and I got those things and I got right into the playing. I'm gonna show you the initial recordings that I took to try to get an idea of how these things are actually performing when I record them. I recorded all of these guitar tracks just with a single SM57 in front of the speaker cone. I did a little bit of kind of sweeping to find basically as sweet of a spot as I could on each of the speakers. And I tried to match that position on both cabs as much as I possibly could. We are gonna start the shootout off with a clean tone, so let's give that a listen. I'm interested in your opinion, so leave a comment below letting me know which clean tone you prefer. Now, I personally, I gotta say, I love that Vox sound. It's a little bit more bright, a little bit sparkly. However, I was still very happy with the V30. It's a little bit less bright and sparkly, but it still has a nice kind of round and clean and clear tone. Let's take a look at a punk rock example. <laughs> Now this one surprised me. When you're using distortion, it becomes really apparent how different these two speaker cabinets sound. To me, the Vox sounded a lot more kind of loose and wild and distorted. It was really kind of gritty. It kind of reminds me of the punk rock music that I was making when I was younger. And then when I listened to the orange cab of the V30, I was like, wow, that's a little bit more subdued. It's quite a lot tighter. It feels like a smaller voice. I definitely liked the sound of that V30 in this context, but it's a totally different flavor. If I was going to make a punk rock record, I'd probably air towards the Vox again, which is kind of weird because I went into this thing thinking that I would prefer the V30 in every situation, but in these first two scenarios, I'm actually preferring the Vox sound. So let's take a look at a heavier example. In this one, I used my guitar tuned down to drop C, and I basically just went between a chugged low power chord and then this higher chord. <laughs> Now in these recordings, when I chug the low strings, I can hear kind of the resonance is different on the speakers, right? So the Vox cab has a little bit more of this kind of higher resonance. When you chug the low strings, they don't sound as deep as they do when I play through the orange cab. I think the orange cab sounds a lot bigger, meaner in this kind of setting. Also, one way I would describe it is the Vox is a little bit nasalier and the orange is a little throatier, essentially. And that could potentially be the simplest way to describe how they differ in tone. I thought it might be interesting to show a sample of these recordings with some drums backing it up. So I put together a new riff and recording and here it is. <laughs> I think 
think this recording pretty accurately captures that difference that I can hear when I'm in the room, where the vox cap isn't quite giving me the sound that I kinda want. And that sound could be perfect for some players, but just not for me. It's a preference thing. I was pleasantly surprised on how well the Vox held up in these high gain recordings, but I definitely am leaning more towards that V30 sound. And I really like the way the orange handles the mid range. It feels kind of mid boosted, but at the same time too, it's kind of scooped in some areas. It's really confusing. I'm not too sure how to explain it. I just know that when I'm playing through the V30 in the room, I love how that sounds and feels. I also thought that it might be fun to do a little sample with a seven string guitar. So I wrote a little simple chord progression and put that together. So let's check that one out. I think after that one, really it's anybody's game. I mean, it could be the Vox amp, it could be the Orange amp. Ultimately, I think that they both do pretty well. However, when it comes to the heavier sound, I'm definitely liking the sound of that V30 a little bit more. When it comes to build quality for both of these cabs, the Vox, I believe, is made of an MDF type material and the Orange cab is made from birch plywood. However, Honestly, they both feel a little bit cheap constructed to me. I mean, they'll hold up, but they don't quite have the feeling of quality that Mesa cabs do. You get what you pay for. Now, of course, both of these cabs are made in China, so what can you expect? And both are pretty affordable. It's really tough for me to say which of these cabs truly wins. I like them both for different reasons. Part of me really likes that matching orange stack. I think it looks really, really good like that. But I also love the way that that Vox looks as well. Now, the cool thing with these speaker cabs is I could put a V30 into the Vox cab and that would definitely give me that same type of sound that comes out of the orange cab, but I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that because after comparing them, the Vox cab with the custom selection, I think that sounds really good on its own. So now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of thinking and consider which one of these am I gonna keep, which one am I gonna sell. Now ultimately, I'm not gonna make that decision in this video. I am actually looking for your feedback. If you are in my shoes, what would you wanna do? Would you rather keep the orange cab or the Vox Cab. Leave a comment down below to let me know. And that's all I've got for this video. So if you've watched to the end, I super appreciate it. And I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.